All right, today's topic is something I've seen so many videos on, but I thought I'd give my opinion on it now, and that is Mavic Pro versus DJI Spark. Which one do I feel like, which one do I feel is a better buy, a better value, um, all around better drone, I guess, maybe? I'll just give my opinion of both, and um, again, there's a ton of guys out there who have their own opinions, but I'll let you know what I feel about the Spark. Um, I've had the Spark since about uh, day two of it being released. I received it the second day of its release, and I was totally blown away by the size. Um, I went to New York to see it firsthand after seeing the press release for it, and um, I just I just had to have it after that. So since I've gotten the Spark, the Mavic has set, sat dormant in its box. I haven't used it, or I hadn't used it until yesterday. Came out to the park yesterday. I brought both drones, thinking I was going to do a video. I don't know who I was calling here. Thinking I was going to do a video um, about a comparison between the two drones, the DJI Spark and the DJI Mavic. And the wind was just super crazy, and a bunch of weather. Was, you know, the weather just wasn't permitting me to do it. The weather just wasn't good enough, so I just decided to fly around the DJI Mavic. I had had it out for a while. I did some firmware updates. I even did a camera calibration, and I wanted to get some more flight time on it. So, after doing that, and after flying the Spark for, I don't know, the last few weeks, I realized how much I missed the, the uh, DJI Mavic. The Spark. Awesome drone. I thought I would buy it for travel. And right now... If I had to travel, if I had to pack something up and travel tomorrow, I probably would use it for travel. Um, but the Spark is limited. So when you think about the Mavic and you think about the Spark, you have to really think about what you want to use them for. And what will be your future use for it? Is it something that you just want to buy to play with? Or is it something you want to keep so that you can grow with? Um, how good of a camera do you need? Um, do you need something with 4K resolution or do you need something that has more than a cell phone's uh, resolution? All of those things, and price and cost, all of those things should um, factor into what drone you want to buy. Um, I have had a couple of the Phantom 3 series. I was going to buy the Phantom 4 before I bought the DJI Mavic. And um, when seeing the release of the Spark, I decided to pass on the Phantom 4 um, until I got rid of the Mavic and then buy the Spark. I have changed my decision on that. Um, now I am currently looking to get rid of the Spark and pick up the DJI Phantom 4 Pro or hold off for about another year to see what DJI is going to release next because I think they usually release uh, you later in the year something like iPhones like in November or at least give you an idea of what they have coming later in the year. Um, but the reason I'm going to sell the Spark is because for me right now, I do not want to get the Phantom 4 Pro, but I still want the, the capability of a higher end or higher, um, what do they call it, not higher end, but a, a more advanced drone. I do like the uh, it, to be able to change my uh, color profile. I do like to be able to change my resolutions on the fly. I do like to be able to take higher quality pictures or do some of the things that the Spark can't do. Now. If I had a Phantom 4 already, I would get rid of the Mavic because the Mavic is the middle ground between the Spark and the Phantom 4 Pro. Um, the Mavic is travelable. You can travel with it. It's portable, very portable. And it also does a decent job, actually not even a decent job, a very good job with video and photos. Um, Eventually, I wanted to get into getting my Part 107 and using my drones to uh, start a business. So for that reason, I wanted to get the Phantom 4 Pro for the one-inch sensor and the better image quality that comes with the Phantom 4 Pro. Um, I didn't want to invest in, a, in an Inspire. I did some research on it. I was going to buy it, but just carrying it and unpacking it, um, unless I actually had a business established, I think the, the uh, Inspire was just too much of, uh, of an investment right now. So, um, the Spark... The great thing about the Spark is that it is simple. I love the way that it has built-in flight modes. Things that I can do with the Mavic are of the push of a button with the Spark. 
all you have to do if you want to do uh, a droney is hit the button and it'll fly a drone and you can put the control down and get the family in the picture and it looks like you have your own personal videographer shooting your droney without you doing this looking at the control and, and hoping that you're keeping your drone from hitting a tree behind it um, some of the other things that it does like the helix the rocket all of those things are capable with the DJI Mavic if you're holding the controller um, I thought about it and I thought if I really wanted to if I were out and I wanted to do to do a drone I could probably do waypoint programming and set waypoints at specific intervals flying backward and at different heights so that it would fly up and away hit go put the control down and let it do its thing but for doing things like an orbit or a circle those things are pretty complicated to do if you are flying the drone yourself. So if you know how to do uh, an orbit on the Mavic, you can do it one of two ways. You can do active track. And if you do active track, um, you highlight yourself, you hit track, and then um, what you do is you go into the, the, there's a little slider there and you slide it and it will orbit around you. Or it will stop at the position that you want it to to follow you. But if you hit it all the way to one side, it will orbit around you as it is following you. Um, but the point of interest orbit um, that you would do with the Mavic is a little bit more difficult and I don't really like what, using it, um, but it comes in handy if you have the time to set it up. What you have to do is, like, if I wanted to orbit myself or I wanted to orbit a point of interest, what you have to do is get over top of that point of interest, set it as a lock point, and then back away from it the distance that you want to orbit and then hit go and you can adjust the speed to fly around I have done orbits with this thing using the active track I've done flagpoles I've done myself I've done other objects and it was just so simple to just go in hit a button and have it go um, to be honest with you the things that this thing can do with, when it comes to gesture mode are gimmicky. They are gimmicky. They are like uh, card tricks or something that you would show off at a party. Um, you will never, I, at least I wouldn't I would never trust a drone or any electronic device to be fail proof. So for me, it is very unlikely that I'm going to launch this thing from my hand indoors or outdoors and hope that it will come back to me or land in my hand once I've taken it off. Um, so I've never used the gesture modes, but I do like the quick shot modes and I also like the camera modes that the Spark has. So if you are a novice photographer or someone who wants to go out on vacation and use a drone, this is the perfect choice for you. Um, when you have the depth of field that you could only get from using a camera with a very uh, wide aperture. That is amazing that you can do this with this drone. I cannot do that with the Mavic. Um, and that's the only downside about the Mavic is that the Spark has way more features when it comes to simple or ease of use than the Mavic has. Um, I just can't afford, not that I can't afford, I have them both, but I can't justify having them both right now because if I'm going to travel, I'm going to take something that's multi-purpose. I sold my GoPro because this phone probably shoots as good of a video as a GoPro does, actually probably better than the GoPro when it comes to sound. Um, and I've actually got that little uh, cell phone mount and I mount it to my head and I can use this because it's waterproof. I can use it in situations that I would use the GoPro, but I'm not going to use the GoPro in situations that certain, some guys would use the GoPro. Like, I'm not going to use the GoPro. I personally don't use, wouldn't use the GoPro because I don't do action sports which would damage the GoPro, like riding a mountain bike or going skiing or something where you would fall and crash it or break it up. I just need something to film hands off so I can have my hands on the control and film what I'm doing. So I found out that I could do that with my phone. So I sold my GoPro. Um, so for me to have this and to have the Mavic is, is like having uh, two, one of those items. I'm sorry that I'm moving around so much, but the bugs are eating me up. One of those uh, drones would never get used. And, and I've already seen that because I have not used the Mavic Pro since I bought the Spark. The Spark is amazing. Don't get me wrong. If you are into drones and you want something that's sort of like a cell phone, you know, it plays games. It's a small computer. It takes photos. It takes videos. Um, even sort of like your compact camera. It takes photos. It takes videos. If you want a one-shot device that's easy to use, this is like your point-and-shoot camera. You pick it up. You hit a button, and it's ready to go. If you want something that's a little bit more advanced that you can do a little bit more with, go further with, um, and has more features and you can spare the extra cost of the 799 for the Flymore combo versus the 1000 or 1200 for the Mavic I would say right now go for the Mavic and if you want something that's more professional if you're starting a business and you want to do some type of uh, business sorry redundant but if you want to do business with your drone like like uh, real estate or surveying maybe you want to get the Phantom 4 Pro or the Phantom 4 Advanced
something that has a better camera on a higher resolution that gives you very sharp crisp pictures and even still if I do get this 107 and I don't have the Phantom Pro Pro I will use the Mavic because it shoots up to 4k resolution and it has the distance and it has the range and it has all of the things that I could use like the OcuSync and the head and the goggles and stuff like that it just makes better it makes more sense to me to keep the Mavic than the Spark so um, I've had a lot of fun with the Spark. In fact, I mean, flying indoors like I would fly my little tiny whoop. I have been kind of taking this thing everywhere with me and trying to get some nice video. In fact, there is a deer running across the field. There are two deer running across the field, and I am not ready to go right now. Ah, they're jumping in the woods. Man, I'm always missing the action. They might come out again. So I'm going to get this Spark up in the air and I'm going to go try to trace them down. But what I wanted to say and finally to close this thing out, these are just my opinion. If you are into drones and you've bought one, you've made a great choice um, because all of them are awesome, awesome gadgets that you will have much, much fun with. Um, I can't tell you that I wouldn't go out and buy the next greatest drone because I am waiting currently for something called a Eureka to trade in all of this shit for and fly that one 75 miles an hour with the box smokes you know 40 uh, what is it 40 minute flight time for one battery. I can't wait for that drone to come out. Um, but right now again guys make the decision based on what is right for you um, money how much you got to spend on it what you want to use it for and how long you want to keep it how how far you want to go with it growth is what I'm talking about that's my opinion um, I love this little thing it's a nice little gadget but um, for me it's just not the drone that I want to settle on so Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the vlog. I'm going to get this thing up in the air and see if I can't chase down those deers in the backfield there. I will talk to you soon. Bye. Ding.